What's up guys, it's Apple Touch Up with one new demo I'll show you guys how to jailbreak the 3.1.3 firmware. Now this is going to be a more complicated jailbreak, it's not going to be quite as simple as the older jailbreak because this is just a loophole right now. There isn't an official jailbreak out and as soon as that comes out I'll make a, a video about that. But this jailbreak will only work with the iPhone 2G, 3G, the iPod Touch first generation, and the non-MC version of the iPod Touch second generation. You don't know what that means, I'll put all the information in the description, all the downloads will also be in the description. Now there are going to be two different Red Snow programs used for this. Uh, the first one, the one that I'm using, is for the I, uh, iPhone 2G, 3G, and the iPod Touch first generation. The other download link of the Red Snow I'll put in will work with the iPod Touch second generation non-MC version. So I'm going to go ahead and get started for you guys. The first thing you're want to, going to want to download is this Red Snow right here. It will be linked in the sidebar. And the iPod 3.1.2 firmware. You need this so you can get around the loophole. And this is the 3.1.2 firmware. You also want to go ahead and update in iTunes to the 3.3 firmware. As you can see, my iPod Touch is currently running that firmware. Now what you want to do is you want to connect your iPod turn it off and then open red snow. Now you're going to want to browse and you're going to want to go to the 3.2 3.1.2 firmware. Let it process. It's been identified. Then you just hit next. Okay, and I'm just going to install Cydia. I would recommend just installing Cydia. If you want to, you can do custom boot logos. It's up to you. But I'm just going to go ahead and install Cydia. And I'm probably about to switch over to my other camera so I can show you guys how I'm about to um, go into DFU mode and then get ready for the jailbreak. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Okay. As you can see, I just switched to my external camera. And you can see that my iPod Touch is off. I had to get my sister's iPod Touch to this video because as you all know I did a giveaway so I jacked my uh, sister's first gen. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want your iPod plugged into your computer and turned off and then you're going to want to hit next and you're going to have to follow these steps so I'm probably going to have to put the camera down so I can show you this. Okay, next. My bad. I think you can see my iPhone here, or iPod. I'm hitting next now. So you have to hold the power button for th uh, three seconds, then hold down the power and home button for ten. Then without releasing the home button, you have to release the power button, and just keep holding the home button. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, it's jailbreaking, and now it's waiting for the reboot. Okay. It's uploading everything, and now it's just going to jailbreak the rest right here on the device. Okay, my iPod just rebooted, so I'm going to unlock it and show you guys which firmware it's running. And as you can see, there's Cydia. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this camera. Hopefully you'll be able to. Let me go to general really quick. About. And there it is, 3.3 firmware. I'm not sure if you can see it on this camera. Probably can't. But yeah. Um, I'm going to test Cydia real quick just so I can show it to you guys. I heard it takes a few minutes to download, um, well, to load the first time. So I'm just going to test it and make sure it works, and I'll get back to you guys in a second. As you can see, I am still on the 3.1.3 uh, firmware. You can probably barely see that there. And you can see that I'm trying to open Cydia right now. And it's still reorganizing. Okay, and Cydia finally opened up. As you can see, it's loading. Everything seems to be working fine. It's just going to take a minute to download all the packages and everything. 
So yeah, this is pretty much it for this jailbreak. It's just the only thing about it is it only works for certain devices. So if you don't have the right device, do not do this. There will be a new jailbreak out probably sometime this weekend. I'll try and get a video up about it. Uh, just be sure to read the description before you do anything. I'll have all the information, all the links posted there for what you need. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Rate 5 stars, subscribe, and comment.